Hey Amazon sellers, it's Tatiana, and today I'm gonna to be answering a very popular question. When should I launch my second product on Amazon? And another question, should I launch two products simultaneously? So, uh, you know, I've been doing coaching for a number of years now uh, with Amazon sellers. And I noticed that oftentimes after launching the first product and seeing some initial success, people get really excited to launch a second product. And I totally get that because once you've seen some initial success, it makes you're like, okay, well, let's, let's do that again. And then I can have more success and earn more money. And so I can see why you would want to rush into it. However, I would discourage rushing into it. So if you've only been selling on Amazon for a month with your first product and you're already thinking about selling a second product or working on a second product, I would argue that that is coming at a cost to your first product. You have to understand that your resources are now gonna have to be split between the two products. You have to pay, place an inventory order for this product and an inventory order for this product. So that's your money has to be split your time has to be split, so working on this product and working on this product. So you are splitting those resources and that can, that can be detrimental to your original product. There are a few things that I like to consider uh, in terms of my resources that are gonna help me determine whether I'm ready for a second product or not. Number one, capital. Do I have enough funds to support increasingly larger inventory orders? So if I am planning on my business growing month by month, then I have to anticipate that I'm gonna to have to place larger and larger inventory orders, and I'm gonna to need to have the capital to support those orders. So inventory is number one. Number two is marketing. That's an expense that we can all anticipate. And the final one is any other expenses in your business. Do you plan to hire anyone? Do you plan to hire employees? Do you plan to hire freelancers, virtual assistants to help you out? Um, do you plan to give yourself a salary or pay out yourself dividends? So these are all things that you need to consider. Do I have enough cash in the bank to support not only this product, but do I have more than enough to support a second product? So if I do have more than enough to support this product, then that tells me, okay, that the excess cash in my bank that's just sitting there can be used to service a new product. Now, another thing that I like to consider is my time. That is the second resource. This is really important because, you know, if you only have two hours a day to invest into your Amazon business, you need to make sure that you're making the most of those two hours. Now, if you've got two products, your time is gonna be split, right? So what I like to do is I like to set this business up so that it can operate without me. In the beginning with any business and even with you know, Amazon businesses, you have to invest a lot of time and energy to get it up and running. But once you've laid the foundation, then for the most part, there's very little that you have to do to maintain it, to put it in maintenance mode, if you will. So the upkeep is, is low meaning that you know maybe you have to check in once a day on the Amazon account to make sure there's nothing that happened to your Amazon listing, um, make sure there's you know nothing going on there. But for the most part, everything's set up and running well, and maybe you have to place an order with your supplier once a month. So then that doesn't require much of your time anymore. That means that you can now invest the time into the second product. So you're not taking away from this product because you've already set that that product up and there's really not much more that you could be doing. So instead you can now invest time into that second product without taking away from the first one. Now in terms of the time resource, one recommendation I have is if you have a business that requires a lot of customer support or if you have a brand where you have a social media presence, then I recommend hiring virtual assistants. Uh, it's gonna save you a tremendous amount of time. And as a business owner, you always wanna be able to identify what is the thing that you could be working on that's the highest leverage task. You don't wanna be working on things that just anyone can do. You wanna be working on things in your business that can really move the needle. And so if there's anything in your business that you can outsource, uh, probably the most common ones are customer support and uh, social media, then you can go on a place like Upwork.com and hire a freelancer uh, for you know five bucks an hour, 10 bucks an hour uh, internationally, and they can help you with your business. And so then that can help you so that you can focus your time on your second, third, and et cetera products. Now don't assume that when you hire an employee or a virtual assistant that they're just gonna take a lot off your plate immediately. There is a learning curve. So you are gonna have to train them in what you want them to do. 
Um, one of the best ways to do this is by creating SOP documents. It stands for Standard Operating Procedures. So you can write out a document where you just outline everything in detail about a procedure in your business. So for example, with social media, you write down everything, how you want it done, when you want things posted, what is the style, what is the brand, um, you know, the branding, all of that stuff. You just write it out and you can even insert videos in there, screen shares, and then you can hand that off to the people that you're hiring so that they can read it over and just come back to you with questions. This way you don't have to invest your personal time into training each and every person. So this saves you time and it's going to be better in the long run for your business. Now the last thing I will mention is that if you have launched a first product and it's absolutely not working out and it's costing you money month by month, then it's important to be able to cut ties quickly. Okay, so sometimes, you know, yeah, maybe you didn't do the proper product research, maybe the market changed, who knows what happened, but for whatever reason, this product is not working out for you. And if you continue to invest your resources into this product, that can just lead you more into debt and you just end up losing time. So in that circumstance, I may try and just cut my losses and say, yeah, you know what, this product didn't work out. I did learn from it, but it didn't work out. I'm gonna move on quickly to the next product and you can try and liquidate that inventory. But I will say that oftentimes people think that the product's not working out, that it's the product's fault, that the market changed, but really it's them. Oftentimes you have to take, you have to be honest with yourself and take a hard look at your business and see, am I performing? Am I doing all that I could do? Have I done everything I could to improve my Amazon listing, master my PPC campaigns, have amazing product images, all of that stuff. Did I do the work off of Amazon too? It's not just on Amazon. Is there, there's marketing that I could do off of Amazon to draw traffic to my Amazon listing. So oftentimes people think that, oh, this product didn't work out. I want to move on with the next one. But really it's because, you know, you don't want to put in the extra effort. Now, the last thing I will mention about launching multiple products is don't fall into the delusion that more is better. You know, let's keep life simple, okay? I know this uh, from firsthand experience. Uh, if you ever plan on selling your business, you will figure this out. Buyers don't necessarily care for the business that has the most SKUs. In fact, they avoid it. If your business has hundreds or thousands of SKUs, you know, that's, that's more of a headache for them. That's more management for them. They would much prefer to see a business with one or five products that's making a million bucks or two million bucks a, a year in revenue rather than a hundred products making the same amount of money. That's why, you know, less is more when it comes to products and SKUs. Now to answer the second question, should you launch two products simultaneously on Amazon? The answer is very simple. If you are a beginner, no. If you are more advanced and you have experience on Amazon, maybe it's something that you could consider. So I understand the logic behind it. If you think, well, I should launch two products at once because it's going to save me time. Um, but if you're a brand new seller, you have to understand that there's a lot that you don't know. If you've never sold on Amazon before, there's a huge learning curve for you. Um, and you are going to have to go through that and you're going to have to make mistakes and learn lessons. And it's best you do that with one product rather than two. So I recommend you just launch one product and then you're going to gain a tremendous amount of experience through that first product. It's kind of like, you know, the first product is the training wheels on the bicycle and then with the second product you can actually take those training wheels off. So I recommend you gain that experience and then apply that experience to your second product and your second product will be much more successful because of that. So I don't recommend launching two products simultaneously if you are a brand new seller. Um, if you are someone with more experience then yeah that's perfectly fine because you now have that experience you probably have more resources uh, if you've been successful with your Amazon business more money that you could invest um, then it's definitely an option for you. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any further questions on this topic of launching multiple products on Amazon, do let me know. But just, you know, I want you to remember that less is more and don't be in such a rush to launch your second product because it can uh, be at the detriment to your first product. It can cost your first product. So really, you know, give it the time of day. Focus your time, your, mo your money, put, invest your money and, and just do all you can to, to make that product a success. Ultimately, it's you who makes the product a success. 
So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. If you have not yet started your Amazon FBA business, you can get my free four part video training series by going to tatianajames.com FBA. I highly recommend it because this free video series is going to give you an overview of what you can expect um, to, to be doing with an Amazon business and it can help you determine if it's the right fit for you. All right guys, I'll see you later.